Okay, I don't know how long that took. Probably uh, a couple hours. Uh, just digging around. So what I want to do now is I want to... Oh boy. I want to make sure we don't have any shorts. Because until I clear that out, there was no point to check for short. So. Five hundred ohms on the core with no core. Wait. Not five hundred, fifty or so. Three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred. Nah, about one k on the memory rail. So here we have one point two, one point eight. Nothing on there. This is twelve. Make sure that the twelve lines here aren't shorted. That's ground. Ground. Okay, uh, what else? Specs, not shorted. Uh, data lines. I don't know. It's 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 a it's a really tough call right now. Um, the best thing I can do at this point is to Start working on connecting things together. Connecting the dots. And uh, the annoying part about that would be this stupid HDMI connector sticking out so high, which will make heating the board a problem. And uh, I need to have my board hot while I'm doing so. Okay. Thanks, Asus. Hey, what is this? Got to get organized. So, a few things I'm going to have to, I'm going to need, I'm going to need some wire, uh, maybe a different thickness wire, we got the mask going, we need the cure light ready. Probably want to. Yes, where's my preheater? There we go, there's my preheater right there. Let's clean that guy. <clears throat> Let's clean that dirty boy. Now we gotta plug it in somehow. There's the plug. The plug of justice that goes on. And we're gonna heat heat things up. And we're gonna start looking at what we've got. Lower there. So, I was kind of looking at it and I thought to myself, how do I go and, uh, there's just no way for me to straighten, 
straighten this board uh, and um, I ran some tests. I, tr I tried to see how it fits on the, uh, what you call it, how it fits onto the PCI Express slot and it fits okay. There's a little bit of wiggle room for error. Um, so really all I have to do here at the front is I gotta connect one, two, three, four. One, two, three, yeah, to these four. One, two, three, and four. And then I gotta run the wires here. Though these aren't important, they're just data lines, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that should be it for the front. I I can probably fill the bottom of that thing with some epoxy so let's see let's mix some epoxy real quick because that crack is very deep and we do want to reinforce it somehow and what better way to reinforce the crack like that if not the epoxy And, but the issue now is that, um, you know what? Why am I bothering? I do not need this epoxy right now. Because I'll be wasting a lot of time doing so. If I put the epoxy now, I will have to wait for it to dry, which is going to be hours before I'll be able to do any soldering. So what I'll do instead is I will mask everything that I... Um, I will mask everything that I need to mask and then I will solder whatever it is that I need to solder and um, if that works then we'll fill the whole thing with the epoxy so which means I'm gonna have to mask as little as possible so we're going to be running a wire here, so I need to mask these guys. See, like so. That's all I need to mask. Right there. And the wire is just going to run above. And then some more mask here, because that's where the wire is going to go. And uh, more mask here, because that's where the other two wires are going to go. I really hope that there's not a whole lot of damage any further. But I don't know. Okay, something like that, I think we'll do. So let's cure that real quick. <coughs> and I'll get the wire ready. And the way I get the wire ready... I'll show you. I'll show you, you young punk, is I put a little bit of flux right on that, right in the working area. I'll show you. Right there. So there's a little bit of flux right there in the corner. 
and I'll take a wire and I take some solder wire solder where's my solder no idea someone stole my solder okay so here are the balls where's my solder I have no idea did I throw it in the trash accidentally maybe no hmm is it in here accidentally no where is it then I don't know and I don't care okay I'm just gonna use this bigger roll and I will take and I will tin this wire while it's running through that um, flux right there I don't need a whole lot of it just maybe an inch and then I'll do the exact same thing for the thicker wire because I need both I need both thin wire and a thick wire Yep. Okay. Now we have the wire ready to go. Let's go under a microscope. And let's start doing some real work. Should I start from a thin wire or from a thick wire? Good question. I can I should probably start from a thick wire since it's on the outside. Actually no, I'm gonna start with a thin wire because it's on the other end of the outside. And that's going to be easier for me to work with. So that's going to go there. Like that. Switch to a micro... Micro tip. Let's see if we can... Tin these pads. Uh, actually, I really should have masked some more. Okay. So let's go ahead and mask some more because we cannot continue like that so I need to mask the area under where the wire will run which is which is what I should have done to begin with
why I didn't, I don't know. There. So that should be it. Now, cure, real quick. Boy, oh boy, this is gonna be a long video. There we go. All right, what do we have? Mm, yeah, looks looks beautiful. Okay, so let's do it again. Let's do this again. There, I think that's good. Right there. Okay, we'll move that out of the way for now. Okay, so we're gonna get that one next. And uh, we need that thicker wire. Nice, very nice. Very nice. Scissors, cutters. All right, let's get back to the thin wire one more time and put the thin wire right next to it. And hopefully we will succeed in doing so because it's kind of tight in there. It's a little tight there. I think, I think we got it. Right there, I think we got it. Just gonna move it out of the way, just a little bit. And now let's finish up with the with that last piece of a big wire. And the big wire is gonna go here. Kind of makes me wonder if I should maybe bend it or something to make it look pretty. Like so. Or maybe... Maybe like so. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. And we don't need to go very far with this wire. It connects right here. But we can connect it all the way there. Who cares? Same thing. Same thing. Okay, so now I can work on this, uh, on the, well, I don't really want to do anything serious right now. Maybe, maybe I can mask this just a little bit. just so that it stays solid and doesn't move around the whole lot um, yeah I don't want to fill it with the epoxy not not yet anyway 
There we go. I was looking for a syringe so I can flush. I can flush all that flux out of there. Something like that. Nice. Nice and clean. Yes, yeah, so I could probably uh, do a little bit of um, masking just to keep the wires intact until we uh, until we power the board and uh, make sure that it actually has all the power that we need. Oh, one wire for whatever reason decided to fall off. That is not cool, bro. Let's let's get this sucker. Let's get this sucker down. Are you down? I think it is. Okay. No idea what just happened. Maybe I pushed that syringe too hard? I don't know. Uh-oh. Pulled a little too hard, maybe. Gotta be super careful now. Not to pull anything. Okay, are we good? Are you good? I think so. Are you? Are you? I think they're good. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's mask. Let's mask the connect connection points. So that way they're not easily broken. At least accidentally. And maybe drop one in the middle. Or like that. Something like that would probably do the trick. Let's cure that real quick. And prepare for going to the other side. Oh boy. This is hard work, guys. I would rather reball 20 GDDR5X memory chips than doing this. Seriously. Okay, I think this is looking okay. Yeah, okay, let's go to the back. Let's go to the back. And uh, let's see, we might have to start with getting rid of all that greasy stuff, whatever it is. Clean up and, oh, there's still more. That could be flux sipping through, sipping through the fibers of the PCB. Something that's very unfortunate, um, but there's nothing I can do about it. 
we're just gonna have to squirt some alcohol in there and hope for the best so let's do that all right let's squirt some alcohol in there there we go if that doesn't do it I don't know what will uh, it kinda did it maybe I can squirt some brake cleaner or carburetor cleaner let's see if I can get that in there I just want this area here to be as grease free as possible so with that there let's mask some stuff around that is going to be getting in the way and at this point we really have to map we want to map out what goes where so let's go ahead and take a picture of this thing real quick let's take a picture of this thing real quick let's go to desktop and let's map things out here so we know what goes where so this obviously goes there this obviously goes here actually let me go ahead and do some black lines I'm gonna do black lines for this layer well yes and then we'll do yellow lines for the other layer so that goes there uh, and then this one you gonna go there like so like that then this one you're gonna go here you're gonna go there and you're gonna go there so that's pretty easy now this section here needs to be connected there right right okay and then the rest is I don't think the rest needs to connect anywhere I'm pretty sure it's all um, just some things that I don't have to worry about anyway it looks pretty easy so let's get back to it let's get back to it Ugh. so we want to mask everything that's getting in the way which is probably here okay I think okay and then I probably want to mask this one here because we're gonna be running wires over it oh, maybe too much yeah that looks pretty good I think I think that looks good mm-hmm all right let's cure that
Oh, now I gotta prepare the wire. Let's prepare the wire. Oh, my wire's getting loose. I gotta tape it down. All right. Okay, so this piece of wire is ready to go. Now let's make another piece of wire ready to go. Okay. The wire is ready. And I can't even see it. It's so tiny. There. I think it's there. All right, let's go into this, and uh, we'll probably do um, we'll probably do bottom layers first. Let's probably do bottom layers first. Which is going to be this one, this, these three, and they will connect to here and to here. Perfect. Now let's see if we can let's see if we can actually do it. Okay, I think this one kind of managed to attach. Yeah. All right. This is a lot harder than it looks. In case you were wondering. Any wrong shake can cause more problems than there already is. I don't even know how I'm doing this. I mean, you can see my hands are not like the most solid ones. And I've never done meth. So imagine somebody try to do this. Somebody who had a meth use background. Oh boy. Okay, one more. Oh, that looks good. That one looks good. Bleh. It's so easy to make the wrong move. It's scary. Ok, 
Okay, so let's deal with uh, let's deal with this one here. That one's a lot easier. A little more surface contact to work with. Well, no. I just pulled that wire without realizing it. See, there's so many things that can go wrong in here. You're focusing in one place and you're creating a problem in a different one. Ugh. And then that preheating pad is burning my hand at the same time. Making it even more difficult than it should be. Okay, I gotta I gotta grab this wire somehow. And I need some kind of support for my hand. And to support my hand, I can't because it's hot. So let's put some paper towel. See if we can. Okay, I think. No, I'm not so sure. I think I want a little bit more tension on that cable. Yeah, right there. Okay. Is that a wire or is that a hair? That looks like a hair. What about this? That looks like a hair too. Okay, so the wire is here. Okay. So we gotta do one more thin wire. But I wanna make sure that these guys haven't ripped. They look okay. looks okay this one looks okay this one looks okay so before I run any more wires actually I can run a big one here let's run a big one at the bottom and then I'll mask whatever it is that I have something like that Boy, come on. Right there. Stay down. Okay, let's clean that up. And see if we screwed anything up. And then we'll try to apply some mask. Maybe squirt of alcohol.
All right, now what? Oh, we have a short. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that short. Wow. I didn't mean let's make it worse. So let's get rid of it. Again. Or let's try to get rid of it anyway. Let's see if we can get rid of this. I think we've succeeded. But we created a mess. So some stuff keeps sipping out of the fibers of the board. So I will heat up the board to speed up that process. Maybe it's just alcohol seeping out, I don't know. But as you can see, things start to boil when I heat it up. So... Maybe we'll boil all that alcohol away, I don't know. Hopefully. <coughs> okay. That looks like it has stopped, so... We will, I will mask that and uh, we'll see. I'll mask that and I will continue on finishing up the rest of the wires on the top. So let's mask these guys. Uh-oh. I do not want to do that. Not yet anyway. cow it's almost it's four o'clock already i've been at it for like three hours already jeez Let's see, what do we have? We got what? What? So that looks fine. So we got, we need to run two more wires. One wire is going to be big, one wire is going to be small. So, okay, so let's do that. One big wire, one small wire coming up. happening all right I think that's okay and now the big guy
you. You bastard. All right. You want to play hard? Let's play hard. Okay, stay there. Oh. That just doesn't look right. Mm, that's a little better. I think that's going to be okay. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. Looks pretty solid to me. So, all I gotta do at this point is to see if I can wick, wick that thing so that everything's nice and smooth. No, 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 no. I do not want to do that. I want to wake this. Oh, boy. Did you see that? Did you guys see that? That was a disaster waiting to happen. Now I just have to make sure that my wires are still barely hanging. So this one's okay, but this one's not. So I gotta resolder this one. No. Oh, look at that. I don't you hate it when that happens? So what can I do in this case? I can probably try a bigger tip. Which seems like it kind of worked. But I still have that stuff over there. Let's see if I can... Uh, Pick that up again. Using a super fine micro nano wick. Come on. Yes, I think we've succeeded. So let's clean that up and see what's going on. Okay, I think we've succeeded. Okay, clean up and power the board, finally. Oh, there's still plenty of flux there. Gotta get it out of there somehow. <clears throat> How do we get that flux out of there? Well, we don't have flux where where wires are connected, so 
I guess we could I guess we could secure the wires and then that's actually all we need to do we just need to secure the wires and then see if we can power the board Hmm, where's my thing? Oh, I got two more wires here at the front. Completely forgot. Two more wires, two little tiny wires at the front. Here, those two wires, don't know what they are, we need to take care of them. So let's take care of them. <clears throat> Probably be the easiest two wires to connect. Unless something goes terribly wrong. Okay. There's one. And I saw another wire. I think it's a wire. Nope, that's not a wire, that's a hair. <laughs> Alright. No problem there. <clears throat> We're just gonna make ourselves another wire. Where is my solder? All right, let's see. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, that was way too easy. Okay. One last cleanup and hopefully we'll be done at the very least with this part. Okay, so this is what we have. Looks pretty ugly. I have minimal hopes that this would actually work. Um, the one thing I gotta check before I power the card is I have to check whether or not this son of a gun's gonna shoot four volts into Actually, let me double check uh, resistances real quick. I don't want it to shoot four volts into the core or the memory. Depending on... 
<clears throat> depending on who the um how this board was uh, connected specifically the controller uh for the memory phase and the core phase it will dictate the outcome of whether or not the 4 volts going to shoot into the uh into it or not without the core that's the issue you remove the core on the 30 series cards you run into a risk of shooting 4 volts into the core I mean into the into the circuit I don't know why they did it um, I have to look up and I'll be right back. So this is my cheat sheet. It says Vinci board uh, for all powers without memory or without the core. There's a risk that the card will shoot for volts into the core or memory. To avoid that, make sure the GPU and VDD feedback return is connected to ground via 100 ohm resistor. So basically, we need to find this pin on the board and we need to measure it and see if it's connected if it if it actually reads 100 ohms and if it does uh then we should be okay so pin 32 uh i don't know if i have um asus strix i don't i don't know i don't have a tough is this the card i got i think so let me look uh not exactly this isn't exactly the board i have but it's very close uh let's see what is this so that's memory okay and the memory is supposed to be <coughs> driving driven by thermal phase shape feedback Phase. What's in what's in here? Ten kilo ohm. MOSFET switch. What is this? Resistor zero ohm. Then that's gonna go into another resistor zero ohm. PWM. Where do you go? Ground. I don't want no ground. Where does that go? Controller. Okay, so it looks like the... Well, my board is looking different, obviously. I just need to find a feedback return. Where's the feedback return? Do we have anything on the back? Who controls the core? On the board that I have, I have reasons to believe that the core... is controlled by either this what is this fan power no what's this pvm for what and okay there we go so it's probably this guy Okay, we're not really helping me here. Okay, so I want uh, I want this pin. So let's see if I can figure this out. Let's see if I can find this. Do we have GPU feedback return? Okay, so that GPU feedback return goes under the core. And then in here... this is your ohm yes and then this sucker is connected to pin 32 according to my thing it is also connected to pin 32 of the controller so regardless of what the controller is pin 32 is going to be 100 ohms so let's see what uh we need to verify this we need to verify this by looking at what controller we have and uh let's see 
because we have several of them here. Uh, MPS, okay. And they all seem to be in here. So my guess is, let me look. Let's have a look. All right. What do we got here? So this is MP MP two eight 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 A. Okay. <clears throat> What about the uh, see? But the but the board this board calls for an IUP nine five twelve R. Very different. So components uh, NC MPS MP two two eight 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 A. Okay. So what's a pin number thirty two? On this particular device, pin 32 would be VORTN, so some sort of a voltage return, which is feedback. Let's see if we can have a description for the pinout. There we go, pin 32. Remote voltage sensor return input is connected to the ground directly at the load route. Da 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 da. So we need the pin number 32 checked on this controller. So let's go ahead and do that and measure the resistance for the pin 32 on this controller. which is right there and the pin 32 is going to be where's pin number 32 come on okay pin 32 is going to be one two second it's going to be second from the bottom right corner okay second from the bottom right corner which is gonna be this guy. We got exactly 100 ohms. Perfect. So that means we can power this board and not to worry about consequences of shooting four volts into your mama. Okay, so that goes here. I need an adapter because the guy did not supply the adapter. Now my question is, I actually do have a question for you guys. How come, how come different brands of 4090s come with a different cable shouldn't they all be the same garbage like this one here for example see these are nvidia factory cables except the only difference is one's got four uh inputs this one's got three they're both authentic nvidia this is founder's edition and this is like an msi or something i don't remember i think it was an msi but it's got three, which is a whole lot better than, you know, four, in my opinion, anyway. And um, it looks like it connects. And it's not asking me any kind of stupid questions, which is exactly what I want. Makes me wonder, you know, couldn't we just get away with three? And what's the point if they're all going into the same connection, into the same socket? 
I don't know. I'm not an engineer. Okay. Uh, probably want to look at the uh, oscilloscope as well. Check if I have all the phases. So let's look at the let's look at the voltage. See if we get uh, memory. Let's see if we have memory voltage. What am I? Oh, no, I was measuring the correct one. Okay, so we have memory 1.4. We have the core, obviously, and obvi we should have packs. There's our packs. So, and we're drawing what? 0 0.2 amp doing nothing. Okay, so next I will check the phases with the oscilloscope real quick. And I want to make sure that every single one of them lights up. So this one is good, good, this one's good, this one's good, this one's good. I really hope all of them are good. This one's good, okay, this one's good, 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 this one's good. This one is also good, this one is good, this one is good, okay. That's, that looks very promising, actually, for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I hate these cables, man. These old cables, they were much better. I mean, what's the point of shrinking the size of a cable that goes into a smaller size PCB that goes inside a freaking huge size heatsink? Why? Just make the board larger to accommodate for all these connectors, and it will dissipate the heat much more effectively. No. We don't do that kind of stuff here, bro. So, what I want to do next, since we have all the power, uh, I want to... Um, do I want to do anything about this at this point? To be honest, uh, I probably want to apply a thin layer of mask to just to make sure that nothing is touching, like this one here. See, I want to make sure this one does not touch anything. It looks a little bit too close for my taste. A little bit too close. For See, just move it out of the way. Just a little tiny bit. And so, okay, what I want to do now is I want to clean up this crack. And I will apply a thin layer. Thin layer of mask. So I will mask the entire thing, but I will not fill anything. I will fill it only after I put the core down and verify that we still have all the connections. And uh, I actually want to apply some heat to this thing. Because it's sipping stuff out, as you can see. <clears throat> yeah, and some of it is actually flux. Which is annoying. Very annoying flux. Okay, that's probably okay. Let's give this thing a layer of protection while it's all hot. Mm -hmm. 
the reason why I'm doing this is I'm I'm a bit worried about it. Um, just a little bit worried about it desoldering. Once it uh, once we're gonna start heating up the core, could be could be an issue. I don't know. I've never seen that happen before. And I had to redo several cracks in the past. And uh, I have never seen anything that desoldered. But I would rather be safe than sorry. And for that reason, I will apply all that, all that mask. Especially in these wires here that are easily knocked off. Maybe here. Keep that wire from floating around. Something like that. A little more heat to help the drying process. I don't see any bubbling, so that's good. One more cure cycle. And then we're gonna go on the back and do the exact same thing. <coughs> and my butt's getting sore. Already, I need to get off my ass and go cut the grass or something. That grass ain't cutting itself. And no one's cutting it for me. All right, so what do we have on the back? Uh, probably the same thing. Let's see. Uh, on the back, we have... This wire here. I do not like this wire here. Let's move this wire out of the way, like so. Yeah, I like that wire there a lot better. And let's clean it up. Maybe we can erase that wire out of the way. Just a little bit, like so. See, like that, to make it look, to make it look professional. Not saying that it is professional, but we'll just make it look like it is. And no one will know. Now let's squirt some more alcohol in there. Like so. To make it nice and clean, hopefully. That did not seem to make it nice and clean. Just gonna have to go in there with the swab. Let's see if I can brush this thing. I guess I could. Okay.
Jeez, five o'clock already. <laughs> and maybe one more heat cycle. Okay. So we'll put that out of the way for now. And we're going to start with the re-ball. Re-ball. The re-ball decor. Which, for whatever magic reasons, was not necessary. Very unusual. Yes. So that goes this way. I should probably do um, 0 0.5 millimeter balls on this thing because of the size. Usually I do 0 0.45. But sometimes on the large cores like this one, it has a tendency you have um, hard to notice consequences so uh, the one thing I don't like about 0 0.5 millimeter balls is that because the stencil is 0 0.5 millimeter and why is that a problem you may ask and the problem is these balls don't really fit very well they do not fit well into a 0 0.5 millimeter stencil. I don't know why. The 0 0.45 millimeter balls fit very nicely. With a little bit of wiggle room. Um, but, in case you haven't noticed, The substrate tends to bow when you're reballing it. By and by that I mean it kind of kind of warps. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I gotta show it to you on a on an angle. Hopefully you can you can kind of see it's a very slight curve, so it tends to curve a little bit. So like the top stays flat, um, but it kind of curves like this. So it curves here then it'll curve there you know so every corner every corner basically is going to be lower a little bit lower than the center um i don't know exactly what causes this maybe heat distribution isn't very even with my uh methods with the air hot air from the top that may be the cause i don't know um but it is not really a problem um not really a problem from what I could say from what I could tell doing so many cores over so much time so little time not so much time I haven't really noticed um, too much of a problem but for the AMD 7900 that problem is very obvious because their cores are so much wider and that problem becomes much more noticeable as you would expect and uh, you have to deal with it okay so now oh my eyes are hurting i don't know what i'm looking at it's like doubling everything whoa uh-huh there we go so we need to fill Why is my pickup so wet? Tweezers are wet. OK. 
Okay, let's see. One more time. Nope, still wet. Still wet. We don't want no wet scissors. Tweezers. See, from the top, it looks like everything should fit nicely. But for whatever reason... Some of these half a millimeter balls don't go through holes. I don't know why. And yes, my balls are a little bit contaminated right now. That's why I have so many of them stick together. I probably need to clean them up. Go in. Come on. There. In there. Okay, any more missing holes? Yes. Right there. Okay, I think that should be it. And I will clean up the rest of it. Mm, yeah, looks like this is it. Okay, let's get rid of the rest of those. And let's double check, make sure that we didn't get rid of too many of them. Which I'm sure we have. Okay, so we still have a few balls here, but I swear we dropped a few. Just don't know where. Ah, uh -huh, there's you. There we go. So that there. What else? Uh huh. Over there. And is that it? Nope. One more there. And that should be it. Where's that one ball? Okay, let's see if we're there. One more ball. Actually, two more. And I think we're okay. So now I just gotta look and make sure that we have a good alignment. Which you can kind of see past the hole. And you can see whether or not your balls are actually sitting on the pad. And then you can just move the entire stencil just a little tiny bit to make sure that you get a good nice, you know, nice alignment like that. See? Just move the move the whole thing. Move the whole thing like that. Back and forth. As much as you like. And then you start lifting. And when you do, you make sure that you do not lift all of these balls. Okay, I think we should be okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. Nope, oh, one ball moved. Okay, one ball moved. Let's quickly move that ball back to where it belongs right there okay okay All right. And just like I said, same stencil for 3080 Ti, same stencil for 4090. And then we need to rebuild this memory chip real quick. I wish reballing the core was that easy. Just go, done. Next.
with one exception. One little tiny ball decided to give me a hard time. That ball is going to be 0 0.5. The rest are 0 0.45. You can see it doesn't look a whole lot bigger, but when you have hundreds of them, they do add up. All right, let's get this sucker done. Gotta take care of all these problems before you start. Okay, I think that looks good. At least from the top. That should be it. All right. You all know what's coming. You all know what's coming. What is coming? A cleanup is coming. That's what's coming. I gotta clean the whole thing up. Well, not a whole thing, just where the core is. I will clean up the rest of the board later. There's uh, copper shavings everywhere. Which is not good. But, it's not as dangerous as you may think. An ultrasonic cleaner would probably be a good thing. Try to get most of that copper out. Especially from underneath the, the memory chips and whatnot. make sure it's not shorting anything out but the particles are so small that unless they gather into large clumps which which is possible but not very likely to be a real hazard always a possibility though so got to do got to do what you got to do get it clean as best as you can. Use compressed air to get it all out from cracks between, you know, everywhere. And hope for the best. am I hearing? I'm hearing noises. Almost as if my smoke alarm battery died.
so let's see well okay I think it goes this way okay that settles nice and flat Yeah, brush is a good thing, but some of you be like, man, just use a brush. I like to use whatever is faster and more efficient. Right now, it's my finger. Okay, that looks fine. Which one? This one. Is it this one? Yes. Right there. Okay. Alright, so that goes down there. Now let's align the heat. Make sure everything's aligned exactly the way we want. And yep. And uh, and let's wait for this thing to get hot. Solder the core back down and we should be good to go. All right. Um, all right, let's settle this thing down. Hopefully without any incidents. That should be plenty looks good so all I gotta do now is to let this thing cool down and I'm gonna go eat something delicious cuz I'm tired and I'm hungry and it's almost six o'clock holy cow all right what do I want to do now just want to make sure that everything is still powering on Hopefully, hopefully everything works as good as it was before. <clears throat> I would be very surprised if it actually works. Okay, let's see if we have voltage. Let's see if we have voltage on memory. See 1.36. We got 0.9 on the packs. What are we consuming here? 1.8. Little, little low. I kind of wonder. Do we have all the phases operating? Should be. We don't seem to have any low power state or anything like that. Huh. Interesting. So all phases are operating. What do you guys think? <laughs> you think it'll work? I cannot wait. <clears throat> Jeez, that would be that would be something. If this works, it would be something. I don't know what would it be, but it would be it would definitely be something. 
And uh, hopefully I'll find my thotter. A roll of thotter somewhere. It just disappeared on me. Ugh, man. Almost all hope was lost with this one. If this doesn't work, I give up. I'm gonna send it over to Northridge Fix. Have him do have him do it. He's really good at he's got a good microscope, okay? His microscope's good. See his soldering skills are far more superior than mine. I don't deny it. That guy is absolute solder um, wizard or a witch, whichever way you want you're looking at it. So if we get a picture out of this sucker, it would be freaking weird, bro. A 4090. With a huge crack. <clears throat> I'll probably do a two part video. Well, I'm not gonna do a two part video on this one. Why bother? Okay, so we'll run the memory test if we get a picture. If we get a picture, there will be no need for a memory test. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. Everything's plugged in? Yes, sir. Let's go. Holy cow. Do we have yes! <laughs> we got a picture. All glory to God, by the way. Hardly any of this is my doing. Look, we got a picture. Woo, I am so happy right now, man. You have no idea. Do you guys have any idea how happy I am right now? Um, let's see. I don't think we're going to have drivers installed for this thing. Let me see if I'll probably have to. I am, we might. I thought I was going to have to install a uh, later package. No, I think we're good. You guys seeing all this stuff? Yeah, you're seeing everything. Okay, let me switch to a full screen here. Okay, so let's uh, look at the GPU-Z. I want to make sure that I'm reading all the sensors. That's my main concern. And we are reading a whole bunch of sensors. Uh, I want my clock to be dynamic. Yes. Let's see if the clock goes dynamic. So start that. Clock changed. Yes, clock is changing. Probably going to get a crackling sound out of this because... No. No. Okay, so we're good. I think we're good. I think we are good. So let's power this thing down. Um, so what I want to do now is I want to fill this crack with epoxy, as I said. So that way we have some sort of a reinforcing material in there. Because leaving it the way it is, is just not very smart. And uh, I'm not very smart. So I will not leave it the way it is. <clears throat> really wish I had a board view for this, um, for this card, but I don't. It would definitely make my life a little easier. Uh, 
Okay, so let's get that epoxy ready. And here, epoxy, epoxy, epoxy. There you are. I hate the way epoxy smells. Some smell more than others. I really wish um, that the glue manufacturers would be a bit more specific on the, the type of uh, glue that they produce. By which I mean <clears throat> not all epoxies are equal. Like some of them solidify rock hard. <clears throat> some of them solidify soft some of them are like rubber you know it's just so many different ones and you have no idea which one you're getting unless you got it before <clears throat> so it's really hard to pick any kind of glue I mean everybody knows super glue will crystallize and it'll crack like glass uh, but the epoxy it's just you never know what you're gonna get there are glues that claim to glue everything and then you uh, um, apply it and it's so flexible it's ridiculous <clears throat> it'll probably glue things together no questions asked but due to its flexibility It would not hold. Now that looks scary, doesn't it? But it works. Don't ask me why. Let's see if I can use my pick tool to fill this thing. I am actually very surprised just how little, how little wires there were to deal with. So most of this, most of this void will be filled with epoxy. The rest of it I will have to fill with the mask. And the one thing I don't like about epoxy is that it likes to flow a little longer than I would like it to flow. <clears throat> I would ideally I would like it to flow maybe 30 seconds. But that sucker he likes to flow for minutes at a time. which is not ideal because you have to hold it you know but then again it's different type of epoxies behave differently hard to say which one's gonna behave which way no idea Okay, something like that. And what do we have on the other side? The other side is looking okay-ish. Maybe we can add a little more in here. Something like that. And now we're just gonna chill. Wait for it to cure. just enough so it'll stay on and then uh, then I'll proceed with covering it with the mask solder mask and it will cure 
underneath the mask by itself. <clears throat> All right, five minutes later, the epoxy is, uh, I mean, it's, it's not rock hard, but it's, it's, it's getting there. Eventually it'll get there. Uh, just enough for me to start applying um, solder mask. Or maybe not. Maybe I can heat this thing up a little bit, just speed up the process. Who knows? Let's see if I can speed things up a bit. Kind of messed it up with the Q-tip there. <clears throat> Let me see how bad I messed it up. Not that it would matter. It's all going to be covered anyway. Oh, it's not too bad. Just a little hair. You know. Yeah, I should probably wait a little more. I'm gonna wait a little more. Yep, just gonna wait a little more and do it again. Mark, are the allegations true that you are secretly a lizard? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go with no on that. Uh, I, I, I am not a lizard. <laughs> You are a freaking lizard. Everybody knows that. Stupid Zuckerberg. He's a lizard. Everybody knows he's a lizard. Every lizard denies he's a lizard. So does this one. They're all the same. Stupid lizards. Uh, who cares? Let's uh let's mask this thing over. Cuz I'm getting tired of this. This card is kicking my butt. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I'm going to do one more layer of green and then I'll do a layer of black. And I need to warm this thing up. Oh, you see, the glue is warming up and it's getting soft. How unfortunate. Now I need to get all the hair out of there somehow. Ugh. Why I put all that hair there? Let's push it in, so it's not sticking out. It will all harden later. Nothing to worry about. All right, continuing on. I'm going to push that glue in there. While I still can. Alright, now let's cure that. <coughs> Oh, 
unbelievable. I cannot believe that this thing actually worked. I cannot believe it. It's like I had very little hope for this to work. You guys have no idea. I was almost certain that this thing would not boot with such a giant crack. I guess we all learned something today. So what did we learn today? We learned that even though some things in Texas are bigger than in the rest of the world, they are tackled the same as if they were not the biggest. So, Texas, you got nothing to brag about. You may have the biggest cracks in the world, but as we have witnessed today, they are fixed just as just the same way as the small ones. So, sorry about that. No hard feelings. right there let's cure that and we will proceed with whoop with the black color <clears throat> to make it look a little bit pretty just a little bit pretty not a lot Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. There we go. Let's see if that actually dried. Are you dry? No, not yet. That's because it's cold. That's okay, we're gonna repeat that process. Maybe we can give it a little bit more heat. Maybe one more. I was honestly hoping, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I was really hoping that this card would be a no-fix, like, 100 rip pads under the core, rip pads under the memory. I was like, man, I would get a donor board um, and and possibly a donor core, you know, if, if the customer was willing to donate it. Uh, one actually has... Um, but it would be, um, it would be nice, you know, it would be nice to get a, uh, 4090 core. I actually do have, I believe I do have a 4090 core sitting around that came from a card, uh, from an MSI. I believe it's working. I don't know 100%. Uh, the card had suffered nearly identical damage. It was dropped or whatever. And I've had like 80 plus uh, pads ripped underneath. Underneath the core. I had several memory chips with pads ripped off the chip. Not just off the board. And so I told the guy, he was like, well, darn it, whatever. 
So he ended up donating the board. And so I now have a 4090 core. But I do not have any 4090s that need one. So maybe eventually we'll run into a lucky customer. To whom I can put that on. Does that look good for you? I think that looks okay. I'm gonna have to go with the yes on that one. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, I already did a little bit of cleanup with the brushes and whatnot, so I just wanted to make sure that there's no um, copper residue anywhere in the clumps specifically. I didn't see anything. Not enough to uh, to worry about, at least. Most of it was draining down. And we had no core installed, so it didn't matter. Okay, let's heat this thing up a little bit. And apply more curing time. Cure it a little bit more. So this is this video is gonna be like what six hours long or something? Are you gonna watch the whole thing? This is ridiculous. It's gonna be a weekend movie for you to watch. It's gonna be a very long video, bro. But it's going to be awesome. Okay. You know, that kind of gives me a boost of confidence. Maybe I won't be scared of these cracks anymore. You know, after seeing this. Come on. There we go. Because after seeing... If I was able to fix this... Oh boy, the sky is the limit. That's not the worst case. I've seen guys out there fixing ridiculous cracks. This is nothing, man. Nothing really worth bragging about. But nothing to be ashamed of either. So, uh... How do we go about proceeding with this, with the assembly? I have no idea. Something like that, I think. I think. What about, what about this one? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this thing got bent. Very interesting. Hmm. Let me switch over. Yeah, I see all that. It must have dropped on something. Or somebody was playing football with it, I don't know. Hard to say. I don't care in either case. Ugh. Okay, so now I gotta figure out how to put this thing together. Kinda wonder what kind of pads are we having here. Let's see if I can measure the pads. So the VRM appears to, appears to be two seventy two seventy five for the VRM for the MOSFETs. Nothing for the capacitors and the memory. Memory looks like. Looks like a 2.25. 2.25 on the memory. And wait, what? Three millimeters here. What about here? 275 here. So why is this 275 here? That just doesn't make any sense. So it's a 286, oh, 3 millimeters. Okay, so it looks like these are 3 millimeters. And then this one was what? This one was 225 or 2. Is that 2? Looks like it's a 2. Yeah, so 3 and 2. Okay, that's pretty, pretty easy. Or at least roughly 3 and 2. Worst case scenario, it's 2.75 and 1.75. But, I don't know. I don't care. Okay, so... How do we go about assembling this? I guess we're just gonna put it on. Like so. I don't know. Never done that before. <clears throat> so down goes that. Okay. Well. Okay. What else? This. <clears throat> Where does that go? So that's going to go to the bottom. Okay, so that's going to go in here like that. So that we can... We can take it... We can take that. Flip it over. Drop it in. And hope we don't miss anything. Hmm. That actually works, somehow. Somehow this actually works. Why do these cards need to be so freaking huge? Why not make a bigger bigger core that would be able to handle more power without overheating so much I don't know okay fan 
So it looks like we have fan and it looks like we have some LEDs. Or maybe we have just the fans. I don't know. I don't care at this point. Uh, I think we have all the screws. So let's plug this thing in. Boot into Windows and see if this thing works. And hopefully, hopefully we have a fix. Because I am tired today and I want a fix. Okay, yep, some LEDs over there. Nice. Come on, picture. Yes, picture. We got a picture. We got a picture. <clears throat> what a lucky day today. Come on, driver. Pick up. Come on. Eh, there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. So let's open up this. Open up that. Open up this. Uh, open up that. Run the valley while running this. Click, click, click. Let's switch to a screen mode so you can see what I'm doing. Not that you need to know what I'm doing. You already know. I'm not doing anything new. Waiting for the clock to switch. That's interesting. The memory clock is so low. Let me see if I can crank up the resolution. Oh, yeah, it went up. No, just a little bit. Eh. 1,000? Is, or is that 100? That's funny. I... <laughs> that's very interesting, you know. Look, I, I doubled, if not tripled the resolution, but the clock only went up halfway for both the core and the memory very interesting so I'm gonna go ahead and disable the sound driver because as you would expect it's giving me all sorts of weird noises and uh, we will run Furmark and then we're gonna run other things to make sure that everything works fine and uh, get some benchmarks and I'll let the customer know that the card is fixed somehow and I uh, hope you guys find this video helpful somehow I mean it's like a what six hour long video I'll I'll do my best to trim it down to maybe an hour and a half or so uh, but no promises so that's it for today goodbye well... <laughs>